so after four days in Kochi, which wasn't the most exciting place for me, uh, I'm now finally getting out of the city and heading to Muna, which I'm actually so looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to getting out of the city, away from the noise, and back to some natural beauty, and just being able to relax for a couple of days, and hopefully do a bit of landscape photography as well, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. Uh, I just thought it was new, but we should be here any second now. Uh, it's a two hour drive, and still the new is only going to cost me about £30, so that's pretty decent. For £30 for a two hour drive, I thought that was pretty good for an air conditioned really good. For all that I hear to the constant honking, spend any time on the Indian roads and it's clear to see why people do it. Part of the time anyway. The roads are chaos. There might be lanes painted on the road, but people don't stick to them. They'll just drive wherever there is space, swerving in and out like it's a race. You have to use your horn just to alert other drivers of your presence, as cars can suddenly appear or suddenly turn or swerve at any given second. That's at least one reason anyway. A lot of the time it's just sheer impatience too. Sit at traffic lights for example and the split second they turn green every car will honk like crazy before you've even had any chance of moving. I've never noticed any Indian people raise their voice or get angry or curse at another driver but they'll quite happily honk their horn like a madman. It turned out to be quite a drive to Muna. Once we got up into the hills, the weather took a drastic turn for the worse and it began to rain very heavily, which started to create a little bit of mudslides on the road. And for some reason, it seemed to take twice as long as it should have. It ended up taking closer to four hours rather than the two that I was expecting. Eventually, however, I did make it to my hotel. Well, Kind of. Hi, two points. Please. It's my bag? Bag is already taken. Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Is your name up for Dias? No, it's Chris Gooch. I just hope I've got the right place now. The booking voucher or something, sir? Is this uh, Shamrock? No, in this next door. Ah, it's next door. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, I've made it. Checked in. Got this lovely blue background behind me. Um, I was beginning to doubt I was going to make it. As you saw, the weather got pretty bad. Some. Uh, the roads were really, really treacherous uh, at times. Um, getting some really strong mudslides on the road as well. And then as we got closer, and the roads got narrower and narrower and more rugged, and we just seemed to be literally in the middle of nowhere, driving on the road which didn't look as though it was going to lead to anything. And I, I thought, this, this place isn't going to be here. It just seemed as though... We should have been there by now, but yet yeah, we were driving up this really small, rugged road that didn't seem to lead anything. So I didn't think, <laughs> I was beginning to doubt I was going to make it, but I have made it. It was quite funny when we did arrive, actually. Uh, saw the sign for Shamrock, which is the name of the place I'm staying at. Um, so we pulled up, saw this rather grand, beautiful looking hotel. And I was greeted by like four or five people. Um, and it looked so fancy. I was like, this looks a lot fancier than it did in the photos. And went to reception and quickly realized 
it wasn't the correct place and the place I'm staying at it's actually next door but I'm a lot more hidden uh, but found it eventually uh, shame I'm not staying in the really really fancy place it was really nice but this place will certainly more than suffice for me um, I'll show you the room quickly um, the room itself pretty large uh, so we've got the shower toilet in there and then I do have a little workspace and a little seating area here uh, the desk will come in handy because I do intend to do quite a bit of work here because I can easily just chill out and do some work here and I deliberately booked a room with a balcony obviously um, so I've not actually looked out on the balcony yet so let's go and have a look at that now check out the view wow this is why I wanted to visit Muna. I mean, if nothing else, I could just literally stay in my accommodation for the two nights that I'm here and just photograph and enjoy this view and I'll be happy. So this is why I wanted to come here and I don't even have to explain anything if I just be quiet and just listen compared to Kochi a couple of days ago a couple of days ago seems like a couple of days ago already so if I'm just quiet just compare to the difference to Kochi that is why I wanted to come here it's so good to get back to nature and back to some quiet and calm after, after the chaos of Kochi Another big noticeable difference here actually is the weather. <laughs> Obviously you can see it's very cloudy and it has been raining um, as we were driving up here. But aside from that as well, it's just so much cooler. Uh, there isn't the humidity that there was in Kochi. This is so much more my kind of weather. Um, hopefully the cloud will clear up when I'm uh, at least a little bit while I'm taking photos. But it's just... It's, comf it's comfortable, I can stand here without pouring in sweat and this is a very tolerable temperature, there's no humidity so even that as well is so much better. So I'm actually, I'm actually a little bit sad I'm only here for two nights because uh, I think I could definitely stay here longer. I'm trying to do this whole trip on a budget, uh, if I stay here too long it's going to cost me more than what I'd like to spend and also I've got so many places to visit in India while I'm here so two nights here and then not sure what that is two nights here and then the next place that I'm visiting after here is also gonna be very very beautiful as well final thing um, I am hoping Uh, I'll try to talk over that. Uh, just quickly, I am hoping I can arrange some sort of tour, some sort of guide, even if I just hire a taxi for the day, just to visit some of the viewpoints that are around here. I'm hoping I can get that sorted for tomorrow. I'm going to have a word with the guide reception here and see if that's possible. Um, but even if it's not, like I say, I could happily just chill out here, get some work done, and just take in this view and even just photograph this viewpoint. Well, that's enough talking for now. I'm going to uh, take in this view, enjoy this music, and just chill out for a while.
just had dinner brought to me as well which looks amazing um, so this is buttermilk chicken which I've had previously in India and it is very very tasty so they don't actually have a restaurant here apparently um, so they bring the food in from one of the restaurants nearby so they come round with a menu ask you what you want and then they come back later and bring your food when it's ready. So a little bit different to like stay in a hotel or something. But of course it's a very remote location. And they're uh, actually, I think being brought food to your room is great anyway. I mean, I've got the few. I've got food being brought to me. I don't even have to leave my whole my, my room. But anyway, I have managed to arrange uh, a drive around the area tomorrow. So that should be really, really interesting. Uh, I'm going to be getting a tuk-tuk and being driven around to some of the different viewpoints and places that they are around. So that should be really fun. But I'm going to enjoy this now. So I'm going to end this video here. But thanks for watching this video. And I hope to see you tomorrow for the tuk-tuk ride. Bye.